Good evening, YouTube listeners. Where I've got some things I've got to say. I've been looking at some stuff on YouTube, God Tube, and of course you can't hardly watch uh, the nightly news anymore because all, the, all they do is lie to you. And I'll prove that through a series of videos that are coming up, God willing. I want you to know something, everybody that I'm talking to right now. What we have come into is a situation that is of dire concern. We have a government that lies to us all the time. We got preachers in the pulpit that's preaching prosperity and where they fly around in their little jets and they have the eight million dollar homes and we have the senators and governors and state representatives down to the mayors, city councilmen and all of them is lying to us. And I'll tell you why they're lying because they want to line their pockets. They could care less about the American people. I will prove on video after video that I'm telling you the truth. Study and do some research. Look for yourself. You don't have to believe what I'm saying. I'm just telling you to sit back and think about what I'm going to tell you on this series of videos. It started out, we had a we had a nation of independent thinkers. We had a nation of independent people. We started out hundreds of years ago. We were blessed by God. And yeah, God, I'm talking about God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm a Bible-thumping believer. Now, I'm not a Catholic. I'm not a Methodist, I'm not a Baptist, I'm not a Church of God. I don't believe in denominations because denominations have come from man and, and tradition. God has one religion. And let me tell you what true religion undefiled is. To feed the widows, take care of the poor and the orphans. And you can't do that riding around a G4 jet. You can't do that living in an $8 million house. Now, I don't mind, I, hey, God says, look here, it, it's okay for you to have a house. It's okay for you to have a roof over your head and a decent car to drive, a nice car to drive, but when you heap up treasure for the last days, it says in book James chapter 5, go to you rich men, and howl and weep, you heaped up treasure for the last days. Let me just turn to it and talk to you about it for a minute. I'll get to the politicians on another one right now. I feel compelled by the Holy Ghost to talk to, talk to these preachers for a minute. I'm, I'm talking to you preachers. I'm not going to call you names unless God tells me to. If God tells me to call you out, I'll call you out. But in any event, it says in the book of James chapter 5 that you've heaped up treasure for the last days. It says your silver and gold is cankered. It won't help you in these last days. You can heap it all up you want to. You can keep stealing from the, from the people. You can keep on preaching that snake oil from the pulpit all you want to. But I got news for you. There's a God in heaven. And the Bible says God owns a cattle on a thousand hills. He owns every dime you stole from a widow. He owns every dollar you stole from a working man. You understand me? Now, if, if you're mad at this video when you watch it, preacher, then you the one with the problem, not me. Not me. Yeah, I agree that Paul was given offerings. I agree that a pastor needs to be paid. But I don't agree with you heaping up all that treasure and, and, and you sit there and tell people to believe in faith of God to be healed and then you run to a doctor. That's a hypocrite. Another word for an actor is a hypocrite. You understand me? It's ridiculous. God did not start it and set it up to be this way. What we need to do is get back to God and preach the Word of God. We don't need to preach man's tradition. Jesus said you nullify, he told the Pharisees, you nullify the Word of God through your tradition. Guess what? I'm not supported by any church. I'm not supported by any denomination. I'm supported by God. I work with my own hands. I work a full-time job. I've worked for myself ever since I was 12 years old. Do you understand me? And I'm still able to preach the Word of God. I don't get my messages off the Internet neither and preach them. And no, I don't put up notes. I don't have a teleprompter like a bunch of politicians like Barack Obama, John McCain, George Bush, Bill Clinton. They all peas in a pod. Every one of them's a bunch of liars. If they knew the truth, the truth would set them free. And guess what? They'd say, I can't be president. There's too much lies and corruption up there in Washington, D.C. There's too many idols up there, the obelisks and all that. Wall Street's got a brass bull. Well, Israel had a brass bull. Remember when Moses went up? Yeah, Aaron they took the earrings and all made a bull. Should I have to tell you? You got a Bible preacher, read it and see what God did to them. Well, he's all angry. No, I ain't. I just got a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in me and the power of the living God, the Holy Ghost of God. And I'm telling you right now that you got a hotel waiting on you in hell 
beside Hitler if you don't chill out and straighten out and get right with God. Well, I ain't watching him no more. Well, I'm in the don't give a rip club. You ain't got to watch me. I'm stirring the hearts and minds of some people you've been ripping off. By the way, the Bible says, come out from among them. So you that are listening, come out from among them that are stealing from you. Every person, every person that calls upon the name of the Lord and has gotten saved, you have the power of Jesus Christ inside of you, just like I have him in me, just like my children and my wife have Jesus living inside of them. It's a great miracle. He said, you will be my witnesses. But see, it's been traditionalized that guess what? You got the preacher in the pulpit, and I respect true preachers. I'll name one I respect. I respect Perry Stone. I don't agree with Perry Stone on 100% of everything he says. I don't agree with him on the day to, as far as the rapture of us leaving here before trouble comes. I don't know the day. No man knoweth the day, nor the hour. Not even the sun. But he, only God, not even the angels know it. But I do know this. I know if the Bible's true, that 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 53, Paul spoke uh, at the last trumpet that we'd be getting up out of here. At the last trumpet. He didn't say nothing about uh, no Revelation 4 1 when he told John, Come up here. He wasn't talking to the church, the body, the ecclesia. He was talking to John. John said he was sending the Spirit on the Lord's day. He didn't say nothing about I'm rapturing you out of here in Revelation 4 1. That is your tradition, that is your thought, but it don't make it God's Word. Praise the living God. I've got to get this in. I've got to speak it out. Why? I don't want you preachers going to hell. I don't want you to go to hell. But you've been locked into politics through your religion and a denomination, whichever one it is, you've been locked into it because you started out on the right track. You started out on fire and innocence and serving God, but now you've got locked into the politics and some overseer, some state overseer, or some bishop, or some deacon that's run the church for 40 years and ain't but 15 people in there. And you know why they ain't? Because him and his old ladies run it the whole time. Every time a move of God comes, they get mad because it'll probably expose their sins so they quench it out and run the people off. Well, you just talking. No, I ain't. I've experienced it, brother. Sister, I've experienced it. I've seen God move. I've seen God use a Baptist minister and move madly. And the people sitting there, the deacons, have gotten mad about it and run them off. Well, you say, well, they didn't have to leave. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. God is a gentleman. God is a just God. But He ain't going to stay where He ain't welcome. You can't go to church at 10 o'clock. You're going to do this. 10:15, we're going to have an offering take up. The move of God, Spirit of God flowing, you're going to stop and take the money up. The love of money is the root of all evil. My God, if they're moving on, God's moving on them, and the Spirit of the living God's moving on them, let God do what He wants to. And if you preach a good sermon and you obey God at the end of the service, put the basket out, you won't have to beg Him to pick it up. Preach on. I think I'm going to. I got nothing to lose because I'm already dead. That's right. I died a long time ago when I accepted Jesus. That's exactly right. You can't kill me. I'm already dead. To be absent from the body is present with the Lord. I'm going to do a series, a series of videos. And when I get through with the preachers, I'm headed to the politicians. And I'm not going, I'm not going to apologize for nothing I say. I've had people to tell me, well, you preach too hard. The preacher did come to me after I got through banning it. Well, you preach too hard. I said, I'm not apologizing for what God told me to say. We had enough of this milk sermons. And I, I first church at a frozen, like a refrigerator when you walk in. F feet froze when you walk out. We're going to do a series of videos, and I want you to listen up. And I'm going to tell you something. God loves you. God loves you.